one. Why are you doing the Golden Globe race? Well, why am I doing the Golden Globe race? Um, this is the biggest, the toughest uh, um, race you can ever imagine. This is a, and, and also a personal challenge. Uh, it's not uh, every day you can spend eight months at sea uh, on your own. What was your inspiration into sailing and uh, when did it begin? What was my inspiration about sailing? Uh, well, I grew up on the beach and uh, so you have this horizon, you know, in front of you. So at one point you want to discover what is behind and uh, sailing is the, is the way to go. In a few words, how would you describe the best and worst aspect to your character? Well, what is the, the worst and the best of me? <laughs> well, let's start with the worst. Uh, the worst, um, I would say I'm a bit picky. I like uh, to go into details. And, uh, but the best is uh, I often go to the details and I go to the point, so which uh, give me strength to go where I want to go. Can you tell us your favorite movie, a book, and uh, and song? Well, my favorite book is probably uh, Voyage au bout de la nuit from Ferdinand Céline. The music is probably from the 70s, like Jimi Hendrix, uh, Bob Dylan, Santana, and and the movie. Uh, um, I like Blade Brother. I think it's from uh, Ridley Scott. What was your most uh, memorable sailing experience in life so far? What is my most memorable sailing experience? Well, when I got to the Caribbean, first crossing, get to the to the island, uh, dolphin, um, sunset. I mean, beautiful sunset. Everything you can even imagine. You know, the, the vibes and everything. It was, it was really cool. Why do you think you can survive this grueling adventure, and what will be the the toughest part uh, for you? Oh, how can I make sure I can survive to this adventure? Um, and the toughest part? Well, uh, I think um, the toughest part is right now, making sure I can have uh, the, the best prepared boat, you know, and, and, and myself be 100% uh, ready. And, uh, and of course, I, I will survive, of course. Have you ever experienced real fear? And um, when was that? Oh, did I ever experience fear uh, yes of course that's part of life you know um, maybe not uh, during sailing even if I had some tough days uh, but fear is part of life you, you, you definitely need to cope with that what are you most looking forward to by entering the race what I'm looking for entering the race uh, participating to uh, a, a great adventure. In, I think these two words should say everything. What will you miss most? I mean, during the, your time at sea. What will I miss most at sea? Well, no doubt, this is the the, the family, all the family side. You know, it's just uh, it's going to be eight, six, seven, eight months, I don't know, it's going to be a long time without them. So, yes, I will miss that big time. And do you think this whole experience will change you in any way, or has it already? Uh, has this already changed me? Yes, actually yes. You know, just the fact to, to take the decision I can see it's a, I turn another page of my uh, of my life. So yes, I can confirm that it already changed me, and it will probably change me also after the race, during the race, and after the race. I think. Why did you choose the yacht you have, and what is it? Why I have chosen my yacht? Um, it's a Biscay 36 first, and when I decided to enter the race, there was two or three boats, and uh, I think. That boat has the best uh, characteristics and compromise. How are you changing the boat to make it safer or faster? 
oh, how did I change the boat? Well, we just spent eight months uh, at the yard, you know, uh, making sure the boat can cope with, uh, you know, going around the world for that long. And, uh, and uh, so it will be safe, no doubt, faster. Well, I'm not sure. It's not very fast, you know. It's probably one of the least slow boats, but it's still not very, very fast. You know, a sextant and a chronometer, chronometer often have a story behind them. Do you have yours uh, and anything special about them? Uh, the sextant, the chronometer, yes, if they have a story, yes, I bought them. I bought two sextant from a guy coming back from the Pacific and uh, he gave up sailing and uh, he bought a house in Brittany. And um, yeah, that was, pretty, uh, that was a pretty cool story and uh, just a fact to meet uh, all the sailors as well. It's, it's good. When was the last time you cry and can you share this with us? The last time I cry and just when my, my kids are were born, you know, it's just a, it's a very intense moment, um, you know, have this new baby in your home and uh, yeah, being being in child, it's a, it's, it's a big big commitment. Can you describe your impression of the Southern Ocean in in a few words and how you think you will feel after running Cape Horn? Oh, what my my feeling about South Southern Ocean? Well, I've been there, I've been. Sp smash <laughs> over there, uh, passing uh, Cape of Good, Good Hope. Um, there's a lot in the imaginary, you know. But it's, it's again, it's a, it's a mix of uh, beauty and power. Um, and after Cape Horn, Cape, Cape Horn, sorry, I think uh, it will be time to think about going home. Uh, and um, well, I'm looking forward for that, yeah. And finally, last question. Who will be at the finish line to meet uh, with you? Well, who will be at the finish line? Well, first I hope to cross this finish line. You know, this is my goal, to be on the start and on the finish line. Um, I hope to see my family, of course, yeah, all the kids, you know, uh, you know they, they are very young, so they will, they will grow up while I'm away, and I uh, hope to see the friends, and, uh, and, and also a lot of people. Uh, I'm sure we will engage a lot of people to, to come to see the Golden Globe race returning after, you know, 50 years. Um, so it's good. I'm looking forward to that as well.